Now we are going to talk about the effect that timing has on revenues. As we said before, the amount of revenue that is on the income statement could be different than the amount of cash that the firm has received. A firm recognizes revenue when it is realized, when it is earned, no matter when it receives the actual payment. From the moment when the firm delivers a given product or provides a service, it should recognize the sale in its revenues. And given that the payment for the product could have a different timing, we can easily have a difference between revenues and cash at hand. Cash may come before the sale of the product, at the sale of the product, or after the sale of the product. These are the three possible options. Revenues, on the other hand, are recognized when the product is transferred or the service is rendered. A practical example might help. Imagine that a firm sells office equipment. It receives an order for $10,000 and delivers the goods to its customer immediately. So, has the firm earned revenue from the sale of office equipment? Yes, it has. It delivered the goods. Did it receive cash? We don't know. But there are three options for that. The firm received cash at the time of the delivery of the goods, before the delivery of the goods, and after the delivery of the goods. The first option does not create a difference between revenues and cash at hand, while the other two do. Let's use T accounts in order to understand the impact that each of these cases has on the company's accounts. We will need three T accounts, cash, revenue, and trade receivables. And as we said, we have three possible scenarios. Our client will pay at the time of delivery, before the time of delivery, and after the time of delivery. In the first case, things are quite simple, right? The company earns revenues for 10000 and receives a payment of 10000 in cash. We'll have to credit revenues for 10000 and debit cash for the same amount. This is pretty straightforward. What happens in the situation where the firm delivers the office equipment but receives the payment 60 days later? In this case, it would still register 10000 of revenues on the day when it delivers the goods. But instead of increasing its cash balance, it would have to increase its trade receivables account. Given that trade receivables is an asset, we will debit it for 10000 Okay, it shows us that the firm that sells office equipment has earned a payment of 10000 Ultimately, we hope that it would turn into cash. If everything goes well, and 60 days later the firm receives a confirmation from its bank that a payment has been made, we'll have to debit cash and credit trade receivables for 10000 This shows that the payment has been made and that the other firm does not owe us anything at this point. The result is similar to what we had before. Cash is debited for 10000 and revenue is credited for 10000 the main difference is that there was a time gap between revenue recognition and cash payment. Now, we need to see what happens in the third and final situation, when the payment for the products is made up front. Think of a situation when a client has a very specific order and is willing to pay up front for 100% of the goods that will be delivered. What do we do in this situation? We will receive 10000 before delivering the goods. This is an upfront payment. Nevertheless, our cash would increase by 10000 I'll debit the cash account. The double entry principle requires us to make another entry that will balance the first one. Did we earn revenues? No. The goods haven't been delivered. We'll need a fourth T account, which will be called prepaid revenue. 
This is a prepayment for goods or services which the company is expected to produce to the purchaser. As a result of this prepayment, the seller has a liability until the delivery of the good or service that was prepaid. Prepaid revenue is a liability and hence will credit it for 10000 After that, at the time when the goods have been delivered, the firm will credit its revenue account for 10000 and will debit its prepaid revenue for 10000 By doing this, we end up with 10000 of revenues and 10000 of cash, which is the same as in the other two cases. But as we saw, the timing of payments was significantly different. The main conclusion that we'll have to remember is that revenues are registered when they are earned, when the good or service is delivered. Cash, on the other hand, could be received before, at, or after the recognition of revenues. This will do for now. Thank you for watching this lesson.